But right now it's time for a great cartoon. What about the Looney Tunes show? That's right, but first we have to cross over to a very good squinky friend of ours, Ninjinky the Squinky. Jacob Butler is coming up soon. Don't go anywhere. Ninjinky won't. Hey, Jacob, we're nearly ready to go on. You nearly ready to go? Yeah, we're yeah, sure. Minutes. I just have to finish um, uh, the groove sorting tube. this out. So you've got Andrew's groove tube. You know, he's going to be really annoyed if you get to do that. And um, I've kind of got my fingers crossed you do. OK, cool. How are you going with it? Almost there. Mm, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Good luck with it. I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. Bye. Sundays here on Go. Has anyone seen Andrew? He's probably playing with his groove tube again. I've got to get that. Refreshments, one. madame. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the penguin suit, dude? Because when Jacob the butler comes out, he's going to be super impressed because I'm all dapper and, you know, have refreshments and great. Hang on a second, Andrew. You and have to go and get changed. Butler does. I, I, you've got to go get changed because we've got a guest coming in. Uh, he, he's just a few <laughs> seconds away. What are you doing? You're going to. Up, 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 up. Okay? Wow. I know all about our next guest, Jacob the butler. And when he comes out and, and he's all impressed by my butlering, I'm looking at a new career maybe. Some, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe a little something else. What? Jacob Butler, the singer, is going to be here. In fact, he's like 30 seconds away. I think he's just about... Wait, 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 wait. Jacob Butler's coming out. Yes, Jacob Butler, the singer-songwriter. Why did I say Jacob the Butler? Well, I have no idea. And why are you dressed in a penguin suit for? Oh, no. Oh, do I have time to change? Uh, does he have... Oh, no, no. OK. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Please welcome our next guest. I'm so excited. He is here. He's one of our favourite singer-songwriters. Please welcome Jacob Butler. <laughs> Hi, Jacob. Welcome. Kids, w, baby. Hello, Master Butler. Would you like a beverage? Thank you, sir. This oh, is our ordinary problem. service when we have guests on the show. A bit sour. Hope you like apple juice. Is that the 2009? It is. <laughs> Lovely. It is 2009 <laughs> apple juice. Would you like some grapes as well? I might uh, give those just a rest for a moment. Okay. Um, yeah, thank yeah. you. I love your outfit. Thank you very much. This is sir. how he always dresses for all of our guests. Absolutely. Wow. Very, he very well done. always speaks like that. Now, Absolutely. Jacob, enough about him, more about you. What have you been up to recently? We're so excited you've made it here. Um, I've been keeping pretty busy. Um, I just put out a new song called Come My Way. Love it, by um, the way. It's a good song, yes, yeah, very oh, nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. It's not a problem. <laughs> okay, um, look, uh, this isn't really our butler. Andrew does the show with me. He just Jacob, kind of I'm sorry I got to come clean. Andrew, huge fan. Oh, I actually you. thought the member said Jacob the butler. So I thought, you know, oh, I, I think it's day. fantastic. You should, you know, do this all the time. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Can you come on tour, perhaps, and just oh, introduce me? Go. I would love to, you know, provide your apple juice. You look that ridiculous. Stuff. Get that off. <laughs> oh, come on now. But look, Jacob, again, enough now. about Andrew's silly outfit. Mm. Now, you started, not started your career, but we first got to know you on reality television. Mm. How yeah. did you enjoy that process? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. You know, like one minute you're just kind of living your life and then you decide to go and audition for a show. And then you're on the TV all of a sudden and it's kind of like, whoa. Now you're on the TV all the time? I'm on TV again. Well, sometimes <laughs> I am. Yeah. That's very cool. So did you find it really kind of kick-started your career in terms of music? I mean, getting your music out there and heard is Yeah, absolutely. It's a great thing. way to get your music out and about. Oh, and cool. um, But yeah. of course, that's not where you started. When did you first start in the music industry mm. or deciding that you wanted to learn an instrument? Were you a little kid? or? Um, yeah, I was about 12, actually. And I saw um, a couple of things. It was, you know, back in the 90s mm -hmm. for you kids that, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, there's a couple of records. That I saw a couple of things on TV in a short period of time. One was Nirvana Unplugged. Uh, and right. the second thing was um, Oasis's What's the Story Morning Glory album mm -hmm. came out at about the same time. And it just um, was probably around that age that I started high school and it was like, wow. This is what I have to do. So that's when you started. And you've come this far, and I believe you've got an album coming out a little bit later in the year. Yeah, the album's coming out a little bit later on. It's called Reason. Um, you can get uh, a couple of singles off that off uh, iTunes right now. Make sure you get them. I now promise you won't be disappointed. That's crazy that, you know, one of your first main influences was Oasis, because I heard that Noel Gallagher, one of the lead singers, the, brother, the Gallagher brothers from Oasis, actually got his hands on a copy of your album. Yeah, he did. No that way. is crazy. How did that happen? 
Well, he was here for the big day out earlier right. this year, okay. and um, I was driving in my car. I just picked up some copies of my album um, to send out to some people. Ooh. As you do, I do that. And I was, yeah, did you? Yeah, yeah. I was on the way to a gig. I was in traffic um, <laughs> along with Tan in Melbourne, and I was there, and I was like, really? Oh, wow. And he was in the van next to me, so I wound down my window. And You're said, kidding. How you going? Hey, dude. He's like, yeah, good. I said, oh, cool. Here's a copy of my record. <laughs> <laughs> Love and he, it. And he took it, and I said, oh, thanks very much, and that was it. And I, oh, well, I drove off. We will off. have to awesome. check in with him and make sure he's got that on his iPod, which I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. But you've been doing it uh, very well overseas, I believe, as mm. well. Yeah, I've just signed a deal with a, a label in South Africa. Congratulations. Um, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, the Temper Trap and... Placebo and Nickelback were on that last oh, as well. Is a few Another small great there. Australian act. Yeah, yeah. Nice. and um, I'm getting a fair bit of radio play in Germany at the minute, so that's kind of Sensational. exciting. Sensational, Dunker Shen. Yeah, yeah. Which, <laughs> which means your oh, music no. is very, very good, and I like it very much in German, of course. Yeah. <laughs> the only German that I know is Ich bin ein Schwein, which is on the pig. Mm. Oh, there I you know go. how to say um, <laughs> Ich wohne in ein Baum. I think that means I live in a tree. So okay. between the two of us, we I, could basically write a song know, I, in I German. I could actually speak a little bit of German. Um, okay, I'll, as a, if I was a butler overseas, yeah, um, it would be a little something like, Hello there, would you like some refreshments or some grapes? <laughs> no, no. That's very good. Have Thank German. you. Did you understand it? Yeah. You sound... There we go. Yeah. I'm How's not sure that? any of us are technically bilingual. Now, I need to ask you, I caught you a little earlier playing with Andrew's Groove Tube. You're rocking out the Groove Tube. How did you go? Well, I think you have me on the hard one, yeah? Mm. No, yes. Mm -hmm. The hard group. Yeah, they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty challenging. How did and, you go? Uh, did you I, I had a go and I almost got there, but not quite. Oh, well, that is really? a relief because I've been working on it tirelessly. I mean, it's a lot of fun, but I just can't, you know, reach the end of yeah, the mate. We can't quite get there. We yeah. do have a bit more practice to do. We're not so good at the Groove Tube yet, but one thing you are very good at is songwriting. You write songs as well as perform them. Yeah, I pretty much write most of the stuff that I uh, that I do. I mean, either myself or with good friends of mine who are also musicians. It's so yeah. it's awesome. Andrew you know what? I actually have something in common because I fancy myself a bit of a singer-songwriter. Really? It's but terrible. On weekends, uh, I actually group wrote the uh, theme song to a very popular sitcom. It's gone well, was called That's Andrew. Oh, um, no, so no, I would love Andrew. to bounce some ideas off you, didn't, maybe. Didn't your great great grandfather write the national anthem? Yes, yes, so. that is on my Wikipedia site. <laughs> Citation needed. Oh, but it is on. On a positive note. No. Hold the phone. No. Sorry to take the attention no. off Andrew. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just did this. Well, you group. know what? All in good sport. Would you like a refreshment? Hate to take the attention <laughs> of our guests, but, Jacob, there you go. Thanking you. Very Had nice. a crack at that one. So you might have more luck with the orange one. Now, will you stick around and help Andrew in a bit of a songwriting? I'd love to. Adventure. Excellent. Well, make sure you stay tuned, guys. Jacob Butler, we're going to... You know what? We're going to rock out with our groove tubes a little bit more. <laughs> Am I the only guy that has not completed it? High five. Come on. Something Congratulations on and <laughs> take your apple juice. Oh, that is well deserved. Make sure you stay tuned, guys. We have Young Justice coming up after this very short break. <laughs>